I, I feel happy when I talk about my hero because then I feel like I don't have to talk about it anymore because sometimes I just want to hold the feeling in and, and it feels good to let it out. Because I feel scared to cry sometimes. I don't know why I get mad though. Lily, Daddy's next to you. Let's no, on it. the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Donor Hero Camp to me is just Indiana Donor Network at its best. It's this ability to find a spot in a family's life that they really need us. And I think that's working with their children. When children grieve, adults around them oftentimes accidentally shut them down. And that's because we have a hard time watching a child grieve. We have a hard time watching a child cry. So our support sometimes accidentally shuts down what they're experiencing. When you're at school talking to a teacher, when you're on the playground, you're in your after school activities, no peer is talking about death and dying. So kids really retreat into a place where they don't think it's socially acceptable to talk about death. And the thing that I think we're doing here is teaching them that that death and dying story is not the end of their story as a child, but that it has a pathway to something much bigger that's hopeful and has healing. That's the thing that makes donation different. Kids get to see a window and an open pathway to something good. So we were excited for the idea really just to build around bringing children together. How could we bring kids together in an environment where they were free from stress and free from any other obligations and just able to start building friendships around something that they had in common. My donor hero was my grandma. My dad. My aunt and my grandma, their names are Lauren and Ellen. My hero is uh, Tristan Hackman. This is a picture of my auntie Keisha. She is like the best auntie because she always helped people. And I love her so much. And go. I think the thing that makes Donor Hero Camp really unique is that it's completely free. And it's completely free through the Angel Fund. When you're grieving, especially if you've lost an income to that household, that aspect is so significant. And it could be the difference between a child being able to attend camp or not. We want children to grow up with us and for them to understand we were just one piece of their story, but we were a piece that supported them through their whole childhood.